In this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be one of the better blitzing concepts for the bunch formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do video breakdowns like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, the formation we're going to be talking about today is the Dime 236 Will. Um, you can do the same basic principle out of dollar, and you can also do the same basic principle out of dollar or, um, Dime 146. But 236 Will, in my opinion, is the best. And basically, what we want to do here is you can kind of use a couple different concepts uh, from this from this formation. But the play that I want to show you today is the Edge Blitz 2, and it's really simple to run. But what's really nice about it is you can actually flip it um, based off of tendency. So uh, you're going to see here that the Blitz kind of, when we come out in the Blitz, it just kind of aligns to the running back side because of the auto flip of this play. But a lot of people, if you know Bunch, a lot of people like to flip their play. So if they flip their Bunch... All we're gonna do is flip our play. And what you'll see here is the blitz basically flips. And then we're just gonna QB contain. And then all we wanna do is take this defender right here. You can do whatever you want with him. I like to man him up on the running back though. So we're just gonna man him up on the running back. And then with this guy, I like to stand kind of right here so I can shoot the run. Or if you want to, you can stand kind of out here. So you see here, it's just a simple cover two blitz the snap of the ball what you'll see is that this loop will a lot of times at least contain if not flat out come in free and the cool part about this defense is you can do it on either side so um, for example let's say we want to do it on this side then all we're gonna do same setup I like you can also just leave this guy here not move him at all and what you'll see here is the loop will come off the left side now, I will say from my personal experience, it does work a little bit better to the left side. So, like if I did flip the play, what you could do, see how this guy kind of runs out of the gap? And you see how that's safe, that nickelback. But if I put that nickelback in coverage, what you'll see here is that, you know, you see what I'm saying. Um, one other thing that you can do is you can spread the linebackers. And you'll see here, it just moves them both out. Now, when you go to contain, you're gonna have a little bit wider of a contain angle, um, but as you can see. And the other thing that I said in the beginning is that this is really, really, really good for quarterback, like quarterback containment purposes. So again, if I, you know, I could spread my line, spread my linebackers, and I'll see how wide these angles are. So you're, it's harder to like escape out of the pocket because of these blitzes. Now, another thing that you can do is you can shift your line like this, and then you can kind of blitz this guy so that he's on the contain. Let me see if I can get this to work right. See how he's on the contain there? And then what I can do is user like of, of this nickel corner, okay? So I can use her this nickel corner, and what you should see here, this is a, like, I think a five man version. But a lot of times these loopers will kind of do some disengaging and pass offs and things like that. But again, the real beauty of this concept, like I said, is that if they flip your their play, you just flip your play. And that's pretty much honestly it. You can leave the nickel corner blitzing, but what you'll see here again, this little loop kind of kind of loops around, causes this disengage with the DN, and you're in business. Now, another thing that I like about this formation is that let's say that we really wanted to send some heat. What we could do is go to DB Fire. In DB Fire, you don't have to baseline. We're just going to spread our line. Kind of stand right here. And you'll see from the same look, you can send DB Fire 2. Now, DB Fire 2 is a little bit more of a commitment. You're only sending, you're going to send five, but it's real simple. And what you can also do with this is if you kind of run like at the center, sometimes you can get a little disengaged um, on the A gap or the B gap. So again, real simple, using the same player. What's nice about DB Fire is you can flip your play. So if I'm in if I'm in DB Fire, whoops, you don't even have to flip your play if you're in DB Fire, but if I was, 
like flip my play boom and then now I'm on a user over here and what you'll see is the pressure is gonna come so those are some simple blitzing concepts out of this formation you can kind of apply this to any formation that looks like this this year and again if let's say that you've used this guy and you've you've kind of moved him a little bit if we need to flip the play all you want to do so you see how this guy's on the blitz now if I contain notice what happens he's already good and then if you want to you can crash your line like so maybe <laughs> you can um, crap there we go okay so you just zone this guy out and then again like I said you can you can try to shoot the run backside I just think it works better if you come over here um, like this maybe there we go and there you see it so that's what I like about this defense is that it it kind of adapts a little bit to the formation a little easier you have cover six in here which is really a good coverage and like I said you know really it's best if you can run it like this this is by far the best way to run it and you'll see fairly consistency um, with the ship now one last thing that I did want to say is if you want to learn more about this defense it's in our patreon membership and what's really cool about this is you can actually run this with only one or two people blitzing. So I could zone this guy on this side. And and sometimes I actually make the blitz work a little better. So you see it gets a little wider, a little bit more a little bit more of an angle on the outside edge, and it's into the quarterback. So, you know, there's a lot more advanced setups to this. We go over all this stuff in our Patreon membership. This is one of my favorite defenses this year. And we walk you through step by step how to run it in our membership. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get our full membership, um, you get all of our ebooks with that. And you also get any weekly pro tips and meta updates that we do. You also have, there's also current gen and next gen ebooks as well. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. You can join the Patreon today for just $10, and it will get you access to all of our ebooks instantly and all of our pro tips.